What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Dr. Bones here again to dig into some math with you today. So let's unearth our objective today. Our objective today. Today I will be able to find the difference between mixed numbers and fractions by using my fact family knowledge in counting up. So let's talk about our math vocabulary today. Let's talk about the word difference. Of course, in a mathematical context. The difference is the distance between two numbers on a number line. A lot of teachers use this to mean the answer to a subtraction problem. And of course, subtraction is one way you can find this. But to really look at this, let's take a look at a number line. So if we're looking for the difference between 4 and 9 on a number line, we're really thinking at how far apart are they, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So the difference between 4 and 9 is 5. Now you guys probably knew that, but there are really two ways to find the difference. Most teachers teach us to subtract. So 9 minus 4 would give me a difference of 5. But we could also, and sometimes I would argue it is easier to count up, to start at 4 and count up to 9, just like we did, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that still gives me a difference of 5, right? That's why addition and subtraction are inverse operations, or in other words, fact families, as we sometimes call them. Today, we're going to focus on finding the difference between mixed numbers and fractions by counting up. Because sometimes it's easier to count up than it is to subtract. So here we have 8 and 3 eighths minus 7 and 2 fourths. And we want to see what fossil, what dinosaur was this fossil a part of, right? What animal maybe? And so the first rule of thumb is I can't subtract these fractions because the denominators aren't the same. I need to find an equivalent fraction for 2 fourths that has a common denominator. And I'm going to use my equivalent fraction skills to say that 2 fourths is the same as 4 eighths. Now here, when you line these up vertically, okay, if I was going to subtract this, I would have to regroup, right? And we have a whole lesson and a song on subtracting when you have to regroup. So today, what we're going to do, instead of regrouping, we're actually going to count up because sometimes it's easier to do that. So we want that tool in your paleontologist fraction toolbox. So instead of regrouping, let's use our fact family knowledge to rewrite this as 7 and 4 eighths plus my missing add-in would give me 8 and 3 eighths. We're going to count up today to do this. So I know, and this is kind of mental math that you could do in your head over here, but because it's the I do problem, we will write it down. If I start at 7 and 4 eighths, I need to add 4 eighths to get to my next whole number, which is 8. Then from 8, right, if this was a number line, I need to add 3 eighths to get to 8 and 3 eighths. So I, if I add up the two parts that I had to count up with, I see that the difference between 7 and 4 eighths and 8 and 3 eighths would be 7 eighths. Let me draw a number line very quickly to demonstrate on a number line. So here is 7 and 4 eighths, my red arrow, 8 and 3 eighths, my purple arrow, and I was trying to find the difference. And yes, you could subtract and you would have to regroup to do that. But today we are working on counting up. If you notice what I did right here, I added one, two, three, four eighths, and that got me to eight holes. Then I added another three eighths, one, two, three, to get me to eight and three eighths, just like we did. And then I added those two together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths, and seven eighths was my difference. 
So all of this mental math and the number line, you will obviously have to draw, otherwise it wouldn't be quicker than we regrouping, but I wanted to show you conceptually what we are doing today when we count up to find the difference instead of subtract. So obviously our fossil was seven eighths, but it also was a slimy snail. Who knew? Snails were, were alive back then too. Let's take a look at a we-do problem. So here we have a whole number minus a mixed number, and this is really when it's uh, a lot easier and quicker to sometimes just mentally count up than to show all the regrouping. So we're trying to find out what is the value of this fossil right here. So let's rewrite it first as an addition equation, looking for your missing add-in, and of course your total would be 12, because in subtraction your total is the number right in front of the subtraction sign. So we're going to start at 8 and 1 fourth, and we want to count up to get to 12. So if you start at 8 and 1 fourth, you would need to add 3 fourths to get to your next whole number, which of course would be 9. Then from 9, right, it's pretty easy jump, because 9 plus 3 holes would make you equal to 12. So if you add up the two parts that we were counting on or counting up, your answer, the difference between 8 and 1 fourths and 12 should be 3 and 3 fourths. So you can see that one is a lot quicker than lining it up vertically in regrouping, although you should be able to do both. So the value of our fossil right here would be 3 and 3 fourths. And of course, if a triceratops is ever running after you, you want to run away very quickly. Let's take a look at the u try problem. All right, our u try problem says 20 minus 4 and 1 fourth equals this fossil right here. Your goal is to pause the video, try the problem by counting up, and see if you can find the value of that fossil. So hopefully you just paused it. I will uh, solve it right now. You can check your work and hopefully you did well. If not, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. So I'm gonna start by rewriting this as an addition equation, finding my missing add end right here. Then I'm going to count up and I'll show you my mental math. You might've done it in your head, but I'll show it to you on paper. Some of you may be wondering why my handwriting is so bad. Well, I'm a paleontologist, so we like to scribble. If you have a doctorate, you like to scribble. So I'm starting with four and one fourth on my number line, imaginary number line, of course, and I'm gonna add three fourths to get to five holes. And then from five, I'm gonna add 15 holes to get to 20. So when I counted up on my imaginary number line, I did three fourths and then another 15. So I can combine that to tell you my difference between 20 and four and one fourth would be 15 and three fourths. And of course, this fossil then would be 15 and 3 fourths and a velociraptor. Who knew? Do not try to feed the velociraptors at Jurassic Park. You may get your hand or head bitten off. <laughs> All right. So again, you could get this by subtracting, but we also want to be able to count up because for a problem like this with a whole number and a mixed number or even a fraction, it's a lot easier and faster to count up, we believe. But either way, you'll have the tool in your paleontologist toolbox. Thank you so much for checking out Instructed Beats. We really appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options online, and so we appreciate you taking the time to check us out. Please check out our website at instructedbeats.com. Check out all our merch, video lessons, songs, timers, you name it. We got it. Resources for the classroom. Again, thank you so much. Instructed Beats, out.